Hello, my darlings. Hello, my beautiful people. Hello, my beautiful souls. I'm Eve, and I welcome you all to my channel, Love Healing Tarot International. I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, for pushing the like button, for making comments. If you like my videos, please keep on subscribing. So, my darlings, today, your favorite subject, always, yes or no. And you have to choose between the moon, the stars, and the sun. I hope you have chosen and I will start with the moon. The moon has my chakra paro, taro pile. So my darlings that you have chosen the moon please concentrate to the to your issue to whatever bothers you to whatever you cannot decide and I'll try to give you the best answer I can. And let's see my darlings. Your card is the Aerophant. Major Arcana so that makes makes it stronger and it's the fifth chakra sorry it's the sixth the sixth chakra it's our third eye people who have this chakra open has have strong intuition, they can think clearly, they are wise and they are connected with their body and their spirit. So, the elephant is a card I love because it tell us that we must have an inner journey. <clears throat> the power of meeting a true spiritual mentor creates synchronicity and opens the path to walk alongside them and learn until you no longer need to, when it's time to become your own intuitive guide, you will know. So it's intuition, spiritual guidance, knowledge. And this card for me is always positive, my darlings. And I will tell you, yes. Yes, for whatever bother. The only thing that you should be aware of is that if you meet a spiritual guide, you should listen hmm, to whatever has to say. But yes. And I will move to the stars. And my druid tarot pile. So my darlings, that you have chosen the stars, please concentrate to your issue, to whatever bothers you, and you cannot decide, and I'll try to give you the best answer I can. So 
Princess of Cups, you have a beautiful card, a very promising card. I'm trying. Okay, here I think is very good. I like this card very much because it's this princess is so sensi sensitive and tender and imaginative. What more you could ask for? It's an opportunity to follow your dreams. The beginning of a pro project. Good news. The arrival of a new soul in the world. The birth of a baby. The beginning of a loving relationship. A, a sensitive, loving and imaginative young person. What more do you want to hear? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. So, I'll move <clears throat> to the sun. And my darlings, that you have chosen the sun. We didn't have time for anything <laughs> because the card is here for you, Major Arcana. A very strong card, extra karmic. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's a card I do love because it gives us the best methods that life is never only one thing. We can be in the top and then down and the opposite, of course. This card uh, indicates that things will change in our life beyond our will maybe, but not in a difficult way. It's like the flow, the flow of life. And it's for your own good. So big changes are coming into your life and they are coming for good. So yes, for you as well, my darlings. Yes, 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 yes. So, my darlings, this was the today's reading. Until next time, take care of yourselves. 